Communications and Works Minister Mark Vantipole says the previous Virgin Islands Party administration did nothing to upgrade the territory's water distribution system to accommodate the 2.3 million imperial gallons of water per day under the by water contract. Vantipole was responding to what he regards as misguided information from former Communications and Works Minister Julian Fraser and the chairman of the VIP about the $200 million no-bid contract signed by Fraser and the VIP on February 18, 2010. The BVI government is contracted for 16 years to pay approximately $1 million per month to buy water whether or not the water is used. On top of that, this government has to pay by water's electric bill at a rate of $7 per thousand gallons, amounting to approximately $400,000 per month, or approximately $5 million a year. This is the absurdity of this contract that our government is presently grappling with. In addition to this, placing a plant in the most eastern part of the island is costing the government several million dollars to transfer the water to the central and most western and northern parts of the island. This is the five million dollar project that the government is now undertaking to move the water from the most eastern part of the island to the most western and northern parts of the territory. Prior to this water contract agreement, water was being provided by four main plants on the island of Tortola. One on the eastern end, one central in Borgos Bay, one in Seacouse Bay, and one in Capoons Bay. Common sense should have suggested to the former minister, Honorable Julian Fraser, that water security, including the distribution system, could have been better supplied and managed if these four plants were upgraded in order to provide the necessary water demand for the territory. While the expensive distribution system caused by the water project is not impossible, it is bound to create problems because of the mountainous terrain of the island and the fact that only one plant was being planned for by the former government. The previous Virgin Islands Party government did not provide any funds to upgrade the water distribution system in order to accommodate this water. They did absolutely nothing from February 18, 2010 to November 2011, approximately two years to upgrade the water distribution system. Biowater was expected to begin water production by January 1, 2011, but only started water production by the end of 2014. The opposition VIP chairman issued a statement dated February 18th, stating that the issues surrounding the production and supply of water at the Bywater plant are filled with malicious intent on the part of this NDP government, adding that government refused to acknowledge their obligation to provide electricity for the plant by refusing to assist the BVI Electricity Corporation with getting the necessary generating capacity. Minister Vantipo said government began work since 2013 to upgrade the water distribution system through a $5 million project. The water plant in East End that has to send water to West End. That is no simple upgrade to the infrastructure. The government has to be able to allocate its funds to create and develop that distribution system. Funds were not always available. We have now made the funds available, and the government is working to upgrade it. The previous government did not pay attention to it, even though they signed a contract to do so. However, that does not stop us and prevent us from doing so. We, as a government, are honoring the contract, and we are upgrading the water system to receive this water. So we are going to be able to do so, as I said, in the next three or four months, so that we can receive the water on that end. The other end of this contract is where government has to upgrade the electricity system to be able to provide sufficient power to buy water, approximately four megawatts of power, to be able to fully 
run the plant. The plant is not being run fully at this point. It also needs more electric power. The territory of the Virgin Islands needs more power to be able to provide by water with sufficient power for them to uh, run the plant. We obviously have been upgrading the system. We are now, as you may know, recently signed a $35 million loan, uh, got authorized to seek a $35 million loan to upgrade this. We are doing so. Um, in the meantime, we are using a temporary plant at Bywater, and we are bringing another temporary plant to operate to be able to improve the supply to the Bywater system. According to the agreement, Bywater would install a new 500,000 gallon tank at Sabbath Hill and upgrade the Water and Sewage Department's control center to give it full operational knowledge of its system and install a new customer billing system. Minister Vantapu says Bywater still has some work outstanding apart from its substantive duty under the contract to supply water. Bywater is expected to assist the territory in uh, evaluating the distribution system in terms of breakages and leakages and so on uh, in, in, the, in their contract and also some other works connected to sewage. That was part of their responsibility. And those were done? Uh, no, not as yet. They're working on the sewage side of it. Uh, the water side haven't been done at this, at this point. Any particular reasons why they haven't done so? No, their focus was primarily on getting the plant up. They've just recently gotten it done. Um, they are now uh, focusing on the sewage side of their contract, and uh, we will see how we go from there. And can you tell us how, how much water they are producing per day now? I don't know the exact amount, but they're in what we call a three, three train operation, which is three of the trains are running, and they are producing somewhere in the vicinity of 1.5 million gallons a day uh, um, at this point. The biowater contract was signed by then Premier Ralph O'Neill and Communications and Works Minister Julian Fraser as his witness. The arrangement was known as a build, own, operate and transfer contract in which the water plant will be handed over at no cost and in good working condition to government at the end of 16 years. At the 2010 signing, former Works Minister Julian Fraser gave assurances that the contract was heavily scrutinized.